Hi everybody, welcome along. This is Wednesday afternoon uh, and I wasn't going to do a live this week. I was just going to do some videos, but I wanted to start the Holly Jolly Journal. Um, and I didn't think it was right to start it without you lot. So uh, welcome along. Let's make a start to Holly Jolly. <laughs> and it really does feel a bit like Santa's workshop in here because I've got so many Christmas things and sparkly things and things that never normally see the light of day, to be honest with you. However, I thought we'd start this journal with the tags because ordinary, I love the construction. I love building journals and sewing around the pages and working out where the pages are going to go and putting pockets on, etc. The bit that that is not my favourite bit is making the tags and the journaling cards and whatever because by the time I've constructed the journal in my head it's complete and then we have to go back and make all the tags and I know some people making the tags is the nice but it just depends which way you come at it really so I thought for this journal which is going to be a journal it's going to be two signature journal in a hard cover um, which Mr F will make for us um, so it's just laughing now because I haven't told him that bit before. Um, so I thought this time I'd start with the tags and see where that leads us. I have printed out a lot of the uh, jolly, holly jolly paper. Um, as I'm, you know, I'm sure those of you that are joining along have done too. Um, it might be worth not printing it out till you see where the pages are going to go and if you need to double print some pages that's you know always well it invariably always happens in my journals that you've got two design pages back to back but not necessarily so so if you've already printed them out and they're one-sided don't panic it'll still work so what i've done this morning by me i mean mr f uh is um cranked loads of these dies, these um, die cut tags. That's what I'm looking for, die cut tags. Um, so that we've got all different shapes. Uh, give me a second, I might have hit the wrong button here. Oh, okay. We okay? I think we're back now. I may have hit the wrong button and cut everybody off, but I think we're back now. <laughs> Mr. F's excommunicated me. Uh, as I was saying, I've got these three sizes so that, you know, they get progressively larger. And I cut a couple out myself just in larger sizes that I didn't have a die for and some journaling cards. Uh, and that was what was just left of the paper. So I've cut those out into um, tags as well. I've also got some itsy bitsy ones um, that are nice to make double tags, swing tags from, little bits hanging from the big tag. Uh, so that's those there. And let me show you what else I've got. I've got some sequin waste, but it's they've obviously been, been punching out snowflakes. So I've kind of got the other half of these really. That's like the snowflakes they've been punching out. And this is the waste that's left. So you can stencil through it or ink through it or whatever. Um, they sell it by the yard, but it's called sequin waste. And, you know, it's where the machines have knocked all the sequins out and this is what's left. So I've got some of that. I've got some gold bowls. I've got um, this box What somebody's <laughs> that somebody has imaginatively titled Christmas stamps, which is great because that is indeed what they are. Uh, they came from an auction. I've no idea really what I've got in there. Um, I've had a little poke around this morning, but it could be anything. It could be anything. Then I've got my sprays and I've got um, Distress Spray and Vintage Photo. I don't think I'll need that, but I've got it out anyway. Uh, the Cosmic Shimmer Ink Spray Mist in this pinky colour. Because our journal, our Christmas journal, our phone hardly ever rings. Um, and I've also got the Distress Spray Stain in Picket Fence because I thought that might give a sort of snowy effect 
when I've finished, I don't know, that's kind of the idea. I've got this stamp that Hilda bought for me and it's got all sorts of different things. It says congratulations today, thank you, whatever. Uh, and one of them says happy holidays and I've put it to the 25th of December 2020. So that will uh, stamp that out. Uh, I've also got these, which are remnants from something that I had last year. And I got them from one of the really cheap shops um, and they had reindeer on and stuff and it was the reindeer that I wanted but I was left with these um, and I'm quite sure we can use those they look very usable and they're in gold and silver and there's dangly things and snowflakes and old Christmas tree even so yeah there's loads of those as well should we wish to use those I'd like to use those oh, let's see I'd like to use those because there are loads. They're getting on my wick. They're hard to store. Then I've got these wooden advent stickers that are just Christmas tree, star, heart, whatever. Um, and they're in, you know, got the numbers on leading up to the 24th there. Okay. Now, something else I've got. I'll show you up here. Oh, you can't see that. It's far away. <laughs> it's called Cosmic Shimmer Colour Cloud Blending Ink. And once you've opened it, you can't tilt it or turn it upside down or anything. So I can't really show you in any more detail than that. <gasps> Can you see that? It comes in a whole array of colours. And I think this is the... Uh, version of the distress ink pad that we use all the time because when you take the top off it's a, a felt pad and you just use it as you would a distress spray pad I think Miranda sent this to me and I can tell you it's the perfect color um, for what I want but boy is it pigmented so we'll see how we go with that I've also got some sequin waste that is straight up you know round sequins um i haven't actually opened this until now but i think there's different sizes so there no maybe not maybe they're all the same size no those blue ones are a little bit bigger and some red ones as well blimey um i've been after some sequin waste for ages because i've just had a sort of three by three piece of sequin waste for years now uh, so I'm really happy to have a big bundle of that. Right, I've also got Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste, which this is um, this is copper, but I think if it's going on to pink, it might look quite rose gold. It's worth a try. I've got my uh, Jacquard Lumiere paint in uh, True Gold, lovely acrylic paint. I've got Cosmic glitter kiss which is just it's glitter in a clear glue which you can stamp and go through stencils with i've just raided the drawers as you can tell got cosmic shimmer metal gilding polish in silver i don't know if i'll use that uh, cosmic shimmer metal gilding polish in gold so that is the extent of what i've got if you can't do something with those i'll tell you you can't be trying surely so I have also got my kit that we uh, downloaded from, see I told you these really get on your wick those things, um, the kit from Pink Monarch Prints and it comes with some little, um, some of these, kind of little ATC cards really I guess, um, but I've just, I've torn out one and I'm going to tear out the other two and you also get other other ephemera with it uh, that one which has got words on and tickets which is really useful and this one which is sort of little stamps I guess and, and labels and just useful things um, and also uh, no it's a different one yeah which brings me to uh, confessing <laughs> to what else I've done um, yeah, that one I think goes with the 
the Jolly Holly. Yeah, they're, they're Jolly Holly. Um, I also downloaded, purchased and downloaded the sort of ephemera set that goes with the um, Pink Monarch set. It's called Holly Jolly cards or something like that um but that's three of them they're really nice and also and this is where the confession comes in i went to antique papery to see if they had anything christmassy pink christmassy really was what i was looking for and they did they had two sets um and if you pop over to antique papery you'll see the sets uh this one i mean look at it it's fabulous so many elements in there that we can uh, let it snow it's just they're lovely, really nice, and exactly what I was after. That's right, this is, this set's called Winter in Victoria, and it's a massive set, actually. And, I, you know, it was so inexpensive. Their stuff is so inexpensive, honestly, it really is. This, now we're back to Pink Monarch. Pink Monarch again. No, that's Winter in Victoria again. And then this is a set from Antique Papery called Santa Claus. And just have a look at this. It's just amazing. There's so much in here on one sheet that we can use. Lovely. Really, really lovely. And, you know, we can glitter anything up as we go and jizz it, jizz it up. And the snowman and the roll oh, it's the beautiful really beautiful what weight of paper are these on maybe? these are on 120 i actually printed the kit out on 160 but 120 would have been really that's, adequate that's grams per square meter not yeah. pounds no no <laughs> gsm I'm just clarifying so i'm going to leave these santa claus ones out and we'll have a look at those first after i've had a look at these um, I've just, as I say, I've torn three off down the side fairly arbitrarily. They just happened to be the three that was on the side. And I've used my deckle edge ruler, but you could use anything to give you a... Actually, I might use my scissors on that bit there, because... it's These are easier if you haven't got much... To tear off it's difficult with a decal edged ruler right so there we are we've got three things to kind of begin with so let's go for this one first I like this one probably torn this the wrong way actually I've got a white edge but hey ho so yeah that would fit on there nicely but it needs something behind it but it is nice, it fits on there nicely, and it's too big for that one. Yeah, it's too big for that one. So let's find something to go behind there then. Something nice and Christmassy. Well, we've got Santa Claus, you can't get much more Christmassy really. In the holiday land. Um, those are very nice, those. Yeah, I think that would look quite nice. So I'm just going to put that on there and sort of... Well, actually, what I'm going to do is draw around it, make it make it easier all around. So I'll just get my pencil, put that flat along that edge, save me cutting that. So, yeah, I mean, the additional, this set and the other set from uh, Antique Papery, really weren't expensive um, you know i'm not lying when i say that anybody that knows antique paper you'll know their stuff is amazing value so this is going to go right to the edge of our of our um tag <gasps> forgot the word forgot what i was making So when I looked at the jo Holly Jolly set, it really was more pink than red. You could get away with making it red if you want to, 
um, but I quite like the idea of making a pink Christmas and it can't be that unusual because there's loads of stuff around for pink Christmas so let's just see that we're all right there yeah and if we put that on top of course it doesn't have to go really central it could go down there but I think it probably looks better centrally right so I'm going to stick this down onto my card just with I will I won't be sewing at the moment but I will eventually be sewing around all of these so I'm just using glue stick if you're not going to sew please use a better glue than glue stick because eventually over time glue stick gives up the ghost um, and who you know if it's even if it's your journal but worse still if it's somebody else's can you imagine you know that they open it and bits are peeling off and corners are peeling off etc etc it's not what you want is it you don't want a reputation like that um, I'm looking for my bone folder but in amongst all this Christmas stuff so just press that down firmly and um, true to form I haven't made a very good job of cutting it so I'm just going to straighten it up I must say I do like this idea of making the tags when you're still really enthusiastic about the journal. Right, there we are. So now I'm going to put some of this Cosmic Shimmer and it's called Crimson Kiss. Uh, and it's exactly the right colour for what I want. So it says to use one of these to apply it. So let's go. No, this is fine. I've used it already. So I'm just going around the edge and apparently the joy of this is that it blends out to nothing. But I tried it this morning and it took me a whole sheet of A4 to get to the end of what it actually holds in there. It's, it holds a remarkable amount of pigment. You can possibly see it more clearly on this side. It's, I couldn't have made a better colour for what I want and as I say this is called Crimson Kiss so there we are that's that but I'm being careful with it because it does say don't tilt or tip once you've got it open so I'm being very careful oh should have should have done that one while I was at it there's probably enough left on here to be honest I don't know how long it goes. I don't know, you know, if it runs out after a couple of days. I've no idea. I've never used it before. But, you know, we're on this journey together, so I'll let you know. Right, so that, I like that on there. That looks nice. It probably needs a little, little bit of glitter or something, you know. And the other thing is, I don't know how long it takes that stuff to dry. Well, not long, apparently. Um, So I'm just... I would use my Aileen's, but I can't see it, so I'll use Fabri-Tac. It's buried underneath a snowstorm. Ah, Mr. F's just found it. He could see it from his angle. You'd be surprised what I can see from my angle. Oh, no. Don't see it. Right. Let's just pop that onto there. Lovely. That's lovely. I like that. So that's kind of going to be the the base, if you like, and then we can get to jollying. <laughs> so I quite like the idea of using these uh, the sequin waste just over the bottom part of that there. It says Merry Christmas, and I don't want to um, obscure that. But I've got some space up here and some space down here that I could jolly up with a bit of sequin waste. So let's see if it works. I had a really quick try with it this morning. I might have chucked it in the bin, actually, just to make sure that it actually worked. <laughs> and it kind of did. So um, I'm going with this and I'm using my 
a credit card to spread it. It might have gone in the bin. No, it hasn't gone in the bin. It's... Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is what I did this morning just to try it. And I used the copper cosmic shimmer through the sequin waste. So you can see it. It did work and it's look at that look how shiny it is so i'm going to try and replicate that sort of thing now i haven't oh, i probably have actually got a let's have a look i'm saying i haven't got a palette knife i've got a blinking thing full of them what's wrong with you um so i'm just gonna th this could be texture paste as well if you wanted it to be i'm going to put that on a bit of kitchen towel Hilda has really kindly sent me a new cutting mat, which I need because you can see this is a right holy shawl. But um, I didn't want to use it today because I knew I would be doing messy stuff. I don't want to get my new, my brand new board covered. It's a gorgeous colour as well, but you'll have to wait to see what colour it is. So I've just got some there on my palette knife. And I'm just going through this stencil waste. Any stencil will do. I just happen to have this, okay? Any stencil will will do the same sort of job. So make sure you've got enough on to fill your stencil, but scrape off any surplus that you've got. Back into your pot. Just a little bit there, I think. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Really sparkly and lovely. So the question is, do I want to do a little bit on the top? No, I don't think I do. I might do something different on there. I've just got a little bit of a stencil there that I don't really want, so I'm just going to remove that. Right, so that's the Cosmic Shimmer Texture Paste uh, in um, Penny Copper, it's called. So you could use it through the stencil and leave it quite thick if you wanted to. These are just tags and I don't really want to be building up thickness, but I do like the effect of that. I really do. Um, let me just wipe this. I don't want to get, get it stuck on it. Look at the colour just in the bit that you wipe off. It's amazing. It's really, really lovely. Um, most of the journals that I do uh, live with you guys, I always try and put myself in the shoes of an absolute new starter. What would they have? What have they got access to? And then I try and do my journal to suit. This time I'm not. I have raided my drawers. I've got out everything that I think I could possibly need. Um, and I'm sorry if a lot of that is things that you don't have. But it's nice for me to show you how things work, whether they work, uh, what I think of them, how easy they are and what you think of them. So... You know, I do appreciate that not everybody is going to be able to go to their drawers and pull out this fantastic hoard of goodies, which is what it is. Um, but, you know, some of these things have been donated to me by people and they must think to themselves, well, she never uses the things that I got her. Um, I do. But like I say, I always try and do those on the journals that I'm making for other people or whatever. However, this time you're getting full throttle. So, yeah, I like that. Does it need something up there? Yeah, it might do, actually. What could I put on it? Because I've got copper on there already, I don't really want to put a metallic thing on it. I could put a number on it. Yeah, I think I will, actually. They look nice. These were another thing that came from Hobbycraft in the sale that they had after Christmas when they just uh, want to get rid of all Christmas and they sell it off cheap. Um, I think I'll put that too on because it's a Christmas tree. Now I wonder if I could get the 
I bet I could get the cosmic shimmer to, to colour that. Should we give it a try? It's not the end of the world if it doesn't, is it? Yeah, <laughs> it had a sticky back. So there we are, yeah. The Cosmic Shimmer colours it and doesn't that look nice? Wow, we're making progress today, guys. So I am really going to use Fabri-Tac on this because um, I don't know what that's made of. I'm just going to stick it up there on the top. The number two really has no significance at all. It just happens to be the first tree or whatever I could find. But I do intend to use all 24 of these throughout the journal. So they will mean something eventually. So there we are. I think that's, I think I can call that done really. What do you think? It's going to have some ribbons and stuff at the top. And this one now isn't going to get sewn round because I've just put that there. So I can sew around everywhere else apart from that section. Right, leave that aside to dry and move on to the next one. Um, might do a big one this time. It's pretty dry now. Um, so I might do, might do Santa Claus. Sorry? Susan says she doesn't worry about what you use that she hasn't got. Oh, that's good. She just likes to see a new technique. Susan. PV. PV. We haven't even had a roll call. And it's exciting when she considers making a purchase. Oh, doesn't it? It's mm -hmm. so exciting. I spend so long. Look, at, we've got a shop in the UK, called an uh, online shop called Craft Stash. And their prices are really reasonable. I mean, all craft things are expensive, but their prices are reasonable for by comparison. And I spend literally hours on there sort of playing a game with myself you know if I could only buy one thing today what would it be if I could buy three things today what would it be I just yeah I was similarly on Etsy you know you, know, you all know what it's like and I know you do right so Santa I'm just holding this up a little bit to the light roll call I do the same just slightly different shops yeah yeah Mr F does expensive stuff Right, that's where I want him there. Fantasy wish list. Fantasy, yeah, exactly. All right, you want a roll call? Yes, I do. Terry. Hiya, Terry. You're in good time today. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Linda. Hi, Linda. You too. Good time. Roz. Hiya, Roz. Cindy. Hiya, Cindy. Cindy, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but did you send me that fabulous book of Christmas ephemera? which I'm going to use today, um, this book. I can't remember if it was you or if it was Miranda. It was one of you two terrible twins that sent it. It's a fabulous book and I love it. Bernice. Hi, Bernice. Shaz. Hi, Shaz. Hilda. Hilda, hello. Helen. Hello, Helen. Kerry. Hi, Kerry. Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Carol Vaughan. Hello, Carol. Flo. Hi, Flo. Maureen. Hi, Maureen. Just a bit with me. Joe Ray. Hello, Joe Ray. Mr. F. Hello, Mr. F. <laughs> Nancy. Hello, Nancy. A bit more enthusiasm would be nice. <laughs> Jan. Hiya, Jan. Nice Jan, to see Jan, you. Yeah. Oh, Janya. Hello, Janya. Nice to see you too, but I thought you were somebody different. Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Lovely name, that. I like Victoria. Do you? I do. It's mm. a very nice name. It is. Good, nice traditional name. Mm. Uh, I think that's possibly it, but don't quote me on it. Okay, well, if he's missed you out... Shout out. Shout out. Right, so I've and drawn... You're lurking, that. stop lurking. Yeah, stop lurking and get on live chat. We like to see you. So I'm going to stick that on there before I cut it out. Otherwise, I'm, you know, I have to cut things out twice. You know what I'm like. So I've held it up to the light, and I think that's about the right place. But as I say, I'm going to sew 
sew around these if I possibly can. So I'm not going overboard with the uh, glue stick. Just got that flush on the bottom. Glitter, it's an amazing thing, isn't it? You can use the smallest amount and yet it gets absolutely everywhere. Cindy said it must have been Miranda. All right, thanks, Cindy. And Victoria says she's working and chatting. Working and chatting. Hope your boss doesn't see you. Jenny says the craft stash live to the USA. They do? Yep. Ah. Um, Terry says she's got the longest lists in Amazon. <laughs> My Amazon which is quite long at the moment as well because um, I've got such a craze on the this stuff, the, the Distress Embossing Glaze. So I've got loads of those listed on my wish list at the moment. I absolutely love them. They're fabulous. Look at that. There's Santa in all his glory. Now, probably don't need too much to um, to be jazzle old Santa. But um, I quite like the idea of some some glitter somewhere. But let's let's see what I've got here. I've got this that would come down like that or oh, that that's probably a better one what about that on there mm, it's right on his feet i want it to be there what's this one yeah that's fine right i'm going to use that I really want to use these up they've been hanging around for ages so i am actually going to add some glue anique Paris says so she's lurking hi anique <laughs> not lurking anymore we can see you. Not literally, I used to add. No, not literally. <laughs> we're not spies. Similarly, we're not the junk journal police. So if you want to do something in your junk journal, just do it. Right, so I want that to come to there-ish and about there. I'm just going to move that out because I want it at the top. Right, um, where's... I had a pile of dry wipes. Um, I cut the end off one of my pack of dry wipe of wet wipes so they'd all dry out. Yeah, it looks a bit plasticky that, but it's but it's all right. It's okay. It's it's fine for the purposes of um right so i want something glittery around him so i think i am going to use the actual sequin waste and i'm gonna i'm gonna cut it because it's kind of unwieldy being as long as it is so i'll just cut a chunk off and i've used gold here so i think the thing to do is use gold so i'm going to use my cosmic shimmer metal gilding polish now if you haven't used this before it's fabulous i absolutely adore the stuff it comes with an applicator in the lid and you don't have to twist it you just push it and it comes out and it's a sponge applicator and then the bottle jar itself is there look at that lusciousness divine so what you do is you get your applicator you put it into your paste and it does take a while for it to decide to pick it up and then you get rid of the excess on the side of the jar so make sure your applicator is well charged like that and then get rid of all the excess that you've got around your sponge onto the neck of the jar you don't want any blobs on it so that that's looking pretty good to me then I'll hold my I can't actually see where Santa is now oh yeah I can't forget to there so I'm just going to go around stenciling through this stenciling through the sequin waste I just want to go up there a little bit there we are and that 
that's that's it. Job done. It's it's just it's fabulous stuff. It's really shiny. It's really lovely, and it's just you know it's made what was an ordinary Santa into Santa Supreme. Yeah, like that. I don't think we need to do anything more to that. So I'm going to run out of drying space very soon because I'm using my sewing machine. <laughs> when you've finished for the day with this, rinse it out in warm soapy water because otherwise it sets on it and then it's no good at all. But I'm going to leave mine because I haven't finished with it. I, I doubt anyway. Gunny says hi. Hi, Gunny. Thanks for joining. So that's that. Right, so onto this book that Miranda bought for me. I mean, it's oh, it's from Amazon and it's printed by Amazon as well. Um, so it's one of those print on demand ones. But I mean, the stuff in it is fabulous. Look, I mean, look at that. She's lovely. This little angel with a Christmas tree. I really like her. Might come back to her. No, I don't want black and white pictures. I'll, I do, however, really like these. They're gorgeous in their own right. Just need backing and cutting up. Oh, compliments of the season. I like that. Mmm. Yeah, might cut that one out. I like that. I'll cut those two stamps out as well, actually, because I like them in a bit of an awkward position. Right. There's 17 sheets. I think I've only shown you four. I mean, they're just fabulous. Right. Could I get compliments of the season onto there? Yeah, I think I could. But... I'm going to have to do something with this background because um, that doesn't fill all of it. How about on a small... No, that's not going to fit on there, is it? I don't know, might you know? Yeah, I think it will actually. I'm just holding it up against my uh, iPad so I can see the light through it. Yeah, I think, I think that might work on there, which is good because it's nice to have a smaller one. So, how am I going to do this then? Let's get that exactly where I want it, which is kind of there. I'm going to miss out off a little bit of that C, but apart from that, we're all right, I think. Right, put that down carefully. Draw around it so I know where it's going. I am liking the idea of doing tags before we do the journal. Look at the back, it's all made to look like it's tea stained. It's fabulous, this book. Uh, Jen says, Hello, everybody. <laughs> she's there but listening because she's going to watch later with Mike. Ah, oh, right, okay. I thought you were at work. Like a date night type thing. Yeah, date night with Miss P. Okay. <gasps> what, are we ha what are we having to eat, more importantly? We, tonight, are having Toad in the Hole. Does anybody in America know what that is? Sounds disgusting, doesn't it? But it's really nice. Shout up if you know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know what Yorkshire pudding is. Oh, now you've told them. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Well, is that the toad or is it the hole? Who's you've, to know? You've given the game away. Jen's <laughs> <laughs> at work. That's why she's listening. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm going to have to get a new, a new glue stick out, guys. I can't get any more out of this, I don't think. Jen says toast with egg. <laughs> Is that what we're having? That sounds good to me. 
Actually, that's what I had for my lunch, so <laughs> it'll be a kind of duplicate of her. I managed to get glue all over the front of my tag, but never mind, eh? We'll carry on regardless. Right, so this is going to go onto there. Ros says it's one of her favourite meals, food in the hole. Is it, Ros? Come round tonight, that's what we're having. So I've got glue everywhere now because my glue stick's coming to the end and it pushed down too hard. That's what that's all about. And yeah, true to form, you know, it doesn't fit. We'd only be shocked if it did. People are asking what it is, but it's probably easy to go and get it, is it? Yeah, <laughs> I'll get it. Right, I'm, I'm going to throw this bit of kitchen towel away while Mr F's out of the room. <laughs> There we are, I really like that. And I think that'll look nice. A, a nice foil for all the rest of the jars that we've got going on. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if there's still some ink left on here. Oh yes. Honestly, it goes forever. That looks so nice. Could you just pass me a piece of acetate while you're on your hind legs? Please. So the hole is there, so I'm going to miss a slight bit. I just want it for plastic, that's all I want. Thank you. Lovely. I'm just going to use a piece of acetate here. You could use a, anything plastic. It's This is all I can think of at the drop of a hat. And I'm just going to... Ooh... It's a bit too juicy, isn't it? God, this is powerful stuff. I'm telling you. So where I rested my sponge on the acetate, I'm picking up the ink from it. And it you know, there's still loads of ink on it. Go if you buy this, be careful, folks. <laughs> it's like, like lethal ink. So there we are. I think that looks nice. And I really like that actually. I don't think it needs any any anything. Just like it as it is. Uh, Bernice says, can she please see the front of that book from Amazon again? Yes, of course. Christmas ephemera collection, 17 sheets, 120 pieces. I'll go through it actually a little bit. Um, it's worth doing that because it's it is very useful. It's one, you know. Sometimes you get Christmas stuff and it looks great in the shop, and you get home and you think, well, how am I actually going to use that? Um, this Miranda, it was Miranda who also sent us the cream scones, <laughs> and I think Miranda also sent me this as well. She she's a great supporter of of the cr cl group and channel. So thank you, Miranda. Yeah, so that's the first page, but look, look at the fussy cutting to be had here. Yes, indeed. And then, as I say, look at this on here, the reindeer with Santa and his sleigh. That's beautiful as well. And this page with the journaling cards, or what could be journaling cards in this page as well. The photographs of the little child with a dolly and Santa Claus, which is cute. Uh, Santa writing is looking at his naughty and nice list. And this, which is pre-made tags, and they're, they're gorgeous, actually. They're, they are really, really nice. I like that. Um, and then this page, these little fussy cuts down here. See, it's all useful. That's These two are particularly like, I might have a go at them in a minute. And then these numbers, right up to 25. Unfortunately, I think they're an inch and a quarter, and I haven't got an inch and a quarter punch. Um, and my cut at my fussy cutting, I don't think is up to it, but I'll give them a try tonight and see. And have a die cut that might. Yeah, I might have a die cut that would do that, which would be great if that was the case. Uh, this page, really nice. And this, which I'm particularly interested in because it's Christmas music, and this is called If Santa Claus Knew, and this is Joy to the World. Um, and I heard the bells on Christmas Day. Now, I love, as you know, decoupaging over music. 
So they will definitely find their way into the journal and they will, this one in particular, will be decoupaged over. The, the great addition as far as I'm concerned. And some more sort of Victorian type themes, themed pictures. Some more of those wonderful stamps down there. Just lovely. Christmas Stocking Library. Wow. Really nice labels here and here. And these fussy cuts of Victorian Santa. That's nice. That's oh, they're all nice. Why not give furniture? Because <laughs> you'd get wrapped over the head with it. That's why. Um, what what would be like more than one of our handsome shaving stands, or perhaps a blacking case, or a chiffonier for Christmas? Okay. How's he going to get that down the chimney? <laughs> As for her, oh yeah, he, that first one was, not B. As for her, there's nothing so appropriate as a desk, a pretty rocker, or a fancy table. If you give a Morris chair, you please the whole family. At all prices, you can be suited for at the Los Angeles Furniture Company. There you go. There you go. Who just thought it? Huh? <laughs> And these really not oh, look. this infomercial is brought to you by the Los Angeles <laughs> Furniture Company, nineteen forty two. I wonder if they're still going. <laughs> uh, look at these tags here. I mean, they're just made to cut out and go. Really, uh, oh, those ones are gorgeous. This is a bit reminiscent of the Kane May ones that we had. Slightly reminiscent of that. Blank labels, fabulous. And the backs of them all are made to look like tea stained paper, which is brilliant. That's a nice one, isn't it? It's like the one we've already used. Oh, look at that. It's lovely. I missed a page now. Oh, I love this with the blue tits. That's going in my journal. And then this page is collage. Really useful. Uh, actually, I might use that in the not too distant future. Then this. Is that? Yeah, this is the last page. It's from the dictionary. And it's it, Christmas is fairly front and centre here. They're not all Christmas words. It's just a page out of a dictionary. Um, but Christmas here and Christmas tide. She's obviously chosen the page with those on and, and done that. And you just know that I'm going to print that out and decoupage over it. I print it out, tear it out. It's already printed. So. Jenny says she's got it in her cart. <laughs> <laughs> It's wonderful, isn't it? It's really good, useful things to have. Right, I'm going to bring in another piece of kitchen towel <laughs> that I've already used. Uh, come on, let's move on. Let's move on, shall we? Um, how about one of the big ones? And let's have a look back through this. These ones from Antique Papery. That's beautiful, isn't it? That window with the holly. Yeah. We're not even looking any further. That's just the job. What can I fit onto here? I have actually got some that I cut myself. Looks like one of them ink blob tests. That looks like a bra. <laughs> Whereas actually it's a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know what I did with the. Maybe it looked like an owl. Really? <laughs> okay. Um, where did I put um, the ones I made myself? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We we'll use the ones we've got. So once again, I'm doing the light trick, and I'm holding this up against my iPad to see. Right, if I have that right at the top, I think that's going to be fine. Just across that way. Anique's going bit. to bed now. Who is? Anique. Anique. Night, night, my love. I hope you sleep tight. Thanks for joining us. So, don't worry about the bits that are left here, the odd sort of shaped and sized bits, because they can, I'll show you um, on the next one, what we're going to do with all those little bits of what you might think are waste. So do not throw them out. 
next time we'll be using those um, in an interesting way. Oh, I should have just stuck this down, shouldn't I? But I didn't. Just then I'll get you to sing a lullaby. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no is all I can say, no. I mean, she would be not sleeping. I'm just going to cut that off there. But do keep all your scraps, people. 50 minutes in, let's be down for a brew. 50 minutes? Mm -hmm. Five zero? Yep. We've done two tags. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Sorry, folks. I just, I wanted to walk you through all the things that I was using today. Look at that. Isn't that lovely with the holly and the Christmas tree in the window? I love it. Right, I've got to go diving for some... Oh, not much of a dive. There's one there already. Oh, it's a bit dry on the top. Might be one I've left out overnight. I don't do that very often, but just occasionally. I do leave my glue on without the top on. When I've had a really long day and I just walk away, sometimes I come back the next day and mm -mm, I've left the top off. So I hope you're all excited about uh, Holly Jolly, because I really am. <laughs> Ridiculously excited, overly excited in fact. But it's just when you start a new journal, oh, it's just, you've got to get excited about it. If you don't, what's the point? Right, there we are. Let's get my bone folder and give it a good squidge. And as you can see, I'm a mile off. I mean, does the paper stretch or something? What's going on? I don't know. It's rubbish anyway. So I hope you're all well and steering clear of that that shall remain nameless um, coming up to winter time here in the northern hemisphere which is the time where people get colds and flus anyway so let's just hope that you know everyone stays healthy that's all we can hope for right so what am i going to do with this well mm, I might use this glitter kiss because it's gorgeous and because I've got frost frosting up here or I could just put glitter on actually I'm going to go around the edge with my um, super cosmic shimmer super strength stuff because that that will make them all and there's still ink on that and I only inked it at the start so I'm just going to go around here Ros says she's sure excited this will be her first real journal. Oh really Ros? Oh brilliant. Oh look at that off the Oh my goodness mate. I can't I can't speak highly enough of this cosmic shimmer blending ink guys. It's potent stuff. And you really need so little. I'm still using the very first dab that I put on when you joined me. You alright? Yes. Do you want the kettle to boil? Ah, oh, right, okay. I'm just going to say that we're going to be making the cover from scratch, which will be new to some, of course. Yeah, I think some of you, you know, like some of you have watched me make journals before, some of you will have watched Mr. F make a journal out of, well, let's call it book board, thick board, from scratch, um, using fabric. So there we are, that's just coloured the edges and I'm going to use this glitter kiss and I'm going to use my snow flake. I'm going to use it up the top where it looks like it might be snowing. So I'm just going to put it on an angle so I don't want it to look too linear. And this is just multicoloured glitter in a clear glue. And it's the same thing, it's Cosmic Shimmer, so it's the same application process. You just dip it in, wipe it off on the edge, get rid of all the extra gunk that you've got on your applicator. 
like that and let's give that a try the first time is always the hardest <laughs> sounds like that rod stewart song the first cuts the deepest um just to get your applicator charged up after that it's much easier much more plain sailing so i'm just going to go around the bits where there's ice in the picture just to sort of accent those bits did you bring the toad in home? I took it away. Oh. Right, so I'm pouncing and I think I'm fairly even through there. Yeah, that's lovely. Don't know if you can wait till the stuff sits down. There you go. Um, I'm not sure you can see that, but. You keep turning it that way. Other way, other way, other way, that's it. Keep turning the other way, that's it, you can just see it. Other way. It's completely the other way. Yes. And the other way up. <laughs> right, anyhow, there is now snow where there is snow on the um, on the picture of the house. So, what else do I want to do? And maybe one of those labels. I quite, I quite like those labels. Um, where did I see them? I know, I know that there are some in here, so let's see where they were. These ones here. Yeah, they're very red, but I think we can make them work. So I'm just going to cut around those. Well, around this one anyway. People ask me, in fact, it's a really common question about fussy cutting and how do you fussy cut? And I'll tell you the best thing to do is practice because it's just a knack. It's a knack of knowing where your scissor blades are. I'm not saying I'm making the best job of this, but you, you know, get yourself a book of wildflowers or something like that and just carry on fussy cutting. And you'll notice by the end, you're a darn sight better than you were at the start. <laughs> right, so how about putting that there? Yeah, not, not all of it's on the page like that. I quite like things like that. Um, and I've got the stamp that Hilda got me. Um, don't know if all of that will fit on there. Let's have a look. Yeah, it might actually. So, shall I do it in Crimson Kiss? <laughs> Let's see if you can do it in Crimson Kiss. I really have no idea. I'm going to put some of my ink down, my Crimson Kiss ink, like that. Right, this might not work, I'll just tell you now, and see if I can pick it up on this stamp and then stamp that off on there. So I don't want it straight. Yeah, <laughs> it worked. Happy Holidays, 25th of December 2020. Yo, hello. So that's that's quite nice. Now I don't want to cover the holly up. The holly's really nice. So I think I'll put that there, just there like that. Excellent. Um, use Aileen's. Thank you so much, Hilda, for all the things that you do for me and the channel. Um, you bring us lots of goodies that we wouldn't otherwise have. So many of you are very generous. And, you know, I really, really appreciate it. It gives me lots of things to play with to show you folks um, that I otherwise absolutely wouldn't have, obviously. Carrie uh, says she's still got a nature journal to complete, but that'll probably be after Christmas. So this one will be her first real... <laughs> Yeah, grown-up journal, yeah. She's done the little golden book. Ah, right. 
Well, you know, basically all you need to know, all the techniques you need were in that little golden book. Anything. Oh, natural cover. Apart from the cover, yeah. Right, so I've cut that off. I'm going to keep that because it says December 2020 and it might come in for what I have lined up for Saturday, which is an exciting day. Exciting times, folks. So there, do I need anything else on there? I don't think I do, really. I might just get my glitter out and just go over the holly berries. Let's get my glitter out and see if I've got any red. Um, I've got oh, I've got pink. Blue says when you're cutting, fussy cutting, wiggle the paper around. Yes, not the scissors. Absolutely, flow. That's the best advice you could anybody could give you. Right, let's have a look at these two. Wiggle the papers. Yeah, like like if I wanted to cut a bit out of here, these small scissors, once again, thanks to Hilda, you cut down and then when you get to there, you don't move your scissors, keep your scissors still as a sort, but move the paper as a pivot point sort of thing. So move your paper around while still applying a little bit of pressure. Move it round, move it round, move it round, and then you're on the straight again. So you get a, a really nice curve where you want it. So yes, Flo, absolutely, you are so right. And uh, that is exactly the way forward. Right, where's my scrap bit of paper? Here we go. So I've got this, which is Dovecraft Glitter Glue, and it might be a bit on the pink side. Let's have a look. It's nice though. Oh, it's really shiny. And then this, which came out of a kid's thing at the pan shop. So, oop. <laughs> Quite a lot comes out in one go. But it's nice. It's not as highly glittery as the Dovecraft stuff. So I'll keep that for when I want to colour in a larger expanse. Oh dear me. <laughs> oh, that was keen to get out the bottle, wasn't it? So I'm just going to use these for these uh, holly berries. Um, and I know that they're red and I know that what I'm putting on is pink. I'm aware of that, but I'm not worried about pinking them up. If you're doing the tradition, uh, traditional Christmas colours, of course, then red's the way to go. That's about it, really, I think. A little dot here and there. There's a couple up here. That's just for reference, that uh, stencil is dry now, the Glitter Kiss one. But this, these blooming, what are what they called again? Glitter glue. They, they take ages to dry. They drive me mad, to be honest. So there we are. There's another nice tag. Yeah, it is a nice tag. I like it. So we are adding something as we go along. And then can you imagine when we've finished all the construction of our journal, we just go along and find all the things that we need and pop them in pockets and stuff. It's going to be magical. Uh, right then, <laughs> let's do another one. I'm so happy about doing this. I, I love it. So I've got this sheet, which has still got those Christmas, well, I say Christmas flowers, the flowers, but you could make them Christmassy with a bit of glitter and stuff. May your Christmas be merry and lack nothing. Can't wish any more than that on anybody, can you? And that will fit just nicely onto there. Perfect. It's a made to measure job. Ooh, the next one's a snowman. Right, so let, let's just I'm gonna I'm gonna put glue on this first, then I'm gonna line it up with my light. I'm not cutting it out and then cutting it out again, that's just double handling is just stupid. Right, let's see where I need that then. Kinda want this straight because it's words. It's not straight. It's really hard actually doing this. Let's 
Sorry about that. Oh, needs to go that way a bit. No, oh, still needs to go that way a bit. I have no no glue left on this. Let's see where that is. Oh come on. It's gotta be a better way than this. I do have a light box. Which might be a way forward. Let's see. That's gonna be it no matter what. Yeah. Fine. Right, let's stick that down and hope hope that was something like right. I've no idea how many tags you use in a journal. You'd think I would have by now. You know, know if you use 20 or 40 or whatever it is. But I am going to do quite a, quite a few. And, you know, uh, journaling cards as well. And I'm going to put the ribbon in them and everything. So they really are ready, ready to go. But having watched me do, I know we've only done about three or four or whatever. But having watched me, do, I'll do a journaling card before I disappear as well. That's not too bad. You know, I wouldn't say it was exactly in the middle, but we have got that bit of holly there, which is quite nice. Looks like it was meant to look like that. So I'm just going to bring my acetate sheet in again. The problem with acetate is it's see-through. So I've still actually got ink sitting on that. I, I, honestly, I've never, I've never known the likes of this before, ever. Something so juicy. Yeah, Ros says she thought you had some acetate templates for the tags. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and they're over there. <laughs> but the problem is, so is like everything over there. Yeah, I do, Ros. I do have acetate and cardboard templates. Look at that. Every time I stamp it down, there's more ink on it. This is an advert for uh, Cosmic Shimmer blending ink that's going straight on my Amazon wish list it's fabulous I've no idea how much it is could you look it up Mr. Ruff see how much it is I could. oh doesn't that look nice just like that that looks so pretty that pink crimson kiss it's called that colour and it, you know perfect perfect for what we need right then I'm gonna put something on that um, oh there goes my acetate Ooh. Uh, I have got these snowflakes the snowflake sequins not the snowflake sequin waste I used to be plucking pheasants um, which might look quite nice. Yeah, I think they do look quite nice on there, actually. Oh, that's got a bit of a broken leg. We'll get rid of him. They're about six pounds, I think. Are they? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just get the impression that they last a long time. And that one. The rule of thirds says put three on, so I'm going to do that. Uh, your eye likes things in threes. That's plain white. Mm, that might be quite nice. don't really want to cover up all the holly. Which is very odd when you consider that we have very few things that come in threes. Yeah. We have two eyes, two ears, yeah. two hands. Yeah, I think that's nice. I'm going to stick that on. I'm going to use fabric. Actually, I'm going to use E6000 because they're really plasticky. Um, and I want to give them every, ooh, every chance to stick. So is everybody all right? Are you, um, any questions, any problems, anything I can help you with at all? Just shout out. It's a good time. They were $3.99 on Craft Stash. The blending inks? 
excellent. Colour cloud, they're called, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. Yes. Uh, Colour cloud blending ink. Yeah, the RRP is 550, but the 399 on Craft Stash. Get yourselves to Craft Stash Girls. <laughs> We're not an affiliate, by any <laughs> No, not at all. Right. So it would appear that the E6000, if it comes onto the front of the stencil of the sequin, makes it dull or duller. So I need to try not to get it onto the front. It would appear there's 33 colours. Oh, that's expensive. <laughs> Go to a one of those people that tell your future is going to be a big expense. <laughs> I mean, fortune teller. That's them. Psychic. Yeah. That's the people. Right, so I've added um, some little snowflakes there. There you go. Look, see, see how glittery they are. And I think that is a really pretty little tag, actually. I have somebody that tells me my future and you. <laughs> That's so true. Right, let me do a journaling card if I can find them. Uh, I did have them cut out, so they've got to be here somewhere. If not, I'll cut another one. Let's just pop that away. Um, I mean, this is before we even get onto hot foils and stuff like that. Right, here's my template. So uh, this is my six by four and a half template. So I'll just cut a new bit out. Yes, sir, are you going to say something? Apparently they have something to do with Phil Martin. I think Cosmic Shimmer Arm, not altogether convinced this has. I'm not seeing Phil Martin's name anywhere. Well, in the description here it is saying. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. I think Cosmic Shimmer have sort of set up Phil Martin to be their version of Tim Holtz. Holt. And I've seen Tim, um, Phil Martin's demonstrations, and trust me, he is no Tim Holt. It says here if you sign up for the newsletter, you get 20% off your first order. What can I say? <laughs> Except I've already signed up, thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> yeah, sign up and get 20% off. So what, how much did you say they were, the, the, the oh, colour clock? 3 99 so that's, four, so that's 80 pence off, is it? Uh, a fifth of, a fifth of four, yeah, 80 pence, just done. So that'll bring them down to £3.19. Blimey, girls. What can I say? <laughs> See if you can beat me to craft stash. <laughs> right, so here... Just go and buy shares in craft stash. <laughs> <laughs> before you start ordering <laughs> so well you know if you know nothing else at all about me you know that i tell you the truth if i like a product i will tell you if i really don't i'll also tell you and i can tell you that i haven't used this very you know like you've seen really pretty much me using it and i absolutely adore it uh, jenny says what is the stuff you smeared on the snowflake stencil it's this stuff. It's a Cosmic Shimmer product. I really do like Cosmic Shimmer stuff. And I like, the other thing I like about it is it's not ideology or Tim Holtz. I just feel like they've got a bit of a stranglehold of, of us crafters and Cosmic Shimmer. I like to support them if I can. In this case, I would have bought this anyway, no matter who had made it. It's Cosmic Shimmer and it's called Glitter Kiss. I think they might do them in several different colors. This one is, the glue is clear, but the glitter inside it is holographic. So it's really gorgeous, it really is. And it's called Frosty Sparkle Kiss. <laughs> Sounds nice, doesn't it? Right, so here we are, I've got a journaling card. So what we're gonna put on this then, girls, um, and Mike who'll probably be watching tonight. So girls and Mike. I could put that big Frosty the Snowman on, He's pretty nice. Or I could go with what I really want to put on, which is the flowers. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm not sold on Frosty the Snowman. Santa Claus with the music's nice. 
Holly berries is nice. Oh, come on. It's hardly. Shall I? Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to do that and have let it snow in the middle. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to put glue on the back of here. Then I'm going to go through that very painful process of trying to place it with the light. Right, let's hope this just goes straight on. So I don't want it that way. Right there. Yeah, I'll just square that up. Sort of needs to go a bit further that way, really, to be fair. The problem with words, isn't it? You sort of want to either get them completely off. I think that's near enough. We're going to be decorating anyway, aren't we? Got that glue. Going to be decorating the back of my cards at this rate. But I have a glue rubber, don't I? Somewhere in the world, I have a glue rubber. So maybe when I find it, I'll give it. A shout on that, give it a chance. Let's see if I've done this anything like square. So Santa lives to fight another day, look. Still there. Can't get rid of him. Don't mean it, Santa. It was really good of you all to join me today. I know it's a, a weekday. I know it's not easy uh, for a lot of you. but And some of you are watching me, you know, under your desk at work, <laughs> which is quite funny. Right, so there we are. We've got Let It Snow on there. It's kind of central. Actually, it's very central. Um, keep all your, your chopped off pieces. They will come into their own. So what am I going to put on this one then? Well, hmm, what have I got? I've got so many stuff, so many things, it's untrue. I might use the snowflake stencil with some gold. That's what I'll do. So the gold I'm going to use is the Cosmic Shimmer Metallic Golding Pol Gilding Polish in the colour Gold Treasure. I'm not sure if they do other golds. This one is quite brassy I shall call it brassy oh I need just some sort of drop cloth under that um, we've already used this so it's kind of charged which makes it easier to pick your colour up pick it up wipe it off on the edge of the jar get rid of all the bits around the outside just on the edge of the jar like that and then I'm just gonna this isn't the easiest stuff to stencil through, to be fair. It's quite sharp and jaggy. And I don't really want a straight edge either. Lynn says hi. Hi, Lynn. Nice yeah. to see you. Jania says she's off for today. All right, Jania. Well, oh, you know, good luck in your uh, searching for products. I'll just have that coming off the top here. It's quite difficult to use this stencil paste. Honestly, it is. It's not just me being an idiot, which is usually the case. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. Very, very metallic looking. So I think I'll put some down the bottom. Just, just a little bit, just down here. Just need a bit more product. So just there where there's not much else going on. We'll give it some gold snowflakes. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. 
very goldy goldy so let's put the lid back on that this when i finish i'll wash this but by then truthfully it will have set anyway which might work in my favor because it'll make it a bit more stable now then i could um if i wanted to put some of those snowflakes over that uh, which i which i might because it says let it snow so i think that might be a nice thing to do let's just have a look and see i want the really really sparkly ones Does that look nice? No, I don't like that now I've done it. I'm going to go around the edge in this amazing um, blending ink again. Just so they're all, they all look like they belong, that's all really. I'm just going to bring it in a little bit from the edge there. And when I say it blends, it really blends. That's gorgeous. That is seamless. Blame me, I am doing an advert for Cosmic Shimmer here. But sometimes you just find a product that's just bang on. It does what it says. So I'm just coming in a little bit there. And it's blending out absolutely perfectly. So there we are. Actually, I quite like that. Like that. That's quite nice. I might add something to it. I don't know, but I'll wait till that cosmic shimmer dries, the gold cosmic shimmer, um, and then have another look at it. But I do quite like that as it is. I like the way it comes in here at the sides. Um, so right, ladies, I and Mike. Sorry, Mike. Um, I'm going to call it a day at that. You've kind of got the idea of what I'm doing, what I'm using, um, and it's up to you how many tags you make. But I won't revisit this style of tag making and journal card making in the journal again, um, because it's quite a personal thing, for one thing, and you know what you've got in your supplies. Um, so just showing you what I've got, it's it's not that helpful to your journal really so what have we done we've made that one we've made this one with the holly berries i like that one it's nice it's snowflakes up at the top she has, oh, he's asking deborah what's a popover i don't know what is a popover no, i don't know i don't know We're back to talking about food oh right <laughs> so it must be something to do with food um and we've got Santa there with all the gold around him. We've got uh, this one with the holly berries and the number on. I do like that number. I really do. I like that tag. And this one as well, compliments of the season, just with the pink around it. It's it's lovely. I really like it. So that's what we've done today. We've done one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five. <laughs> Today on Sesame Street, <laughs> Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> and one journaling card. So, it, you know, all right, yeah, I've been an hour and a half, but I've been chatting away to you and whatever. So if you really get your head down, get cracking, I think you'd make quite a few journaling cards and tags in, you know, not forever. But this is the thing I don't understand. People say, oh, yes, and making cards, and it only takes you three minutes per card. Surely the joy of doing it is the joy of doing it. So take your time, enjoy yourself, um, have fun, because really that's what it should be about. And I can't wait to see you posting your tags and your journaling cards on the group. If you um, are not in the group, the group I'm referring to is Miss paint -a -Lot's Junk Journal Group over on Facebook. It's a lovely group of people, the same suspects as you see on here, um, plus more. And they're just, everybody is so supportive and kind. I, I'm just, it's just amazing how nice they are. So if you're not a member, pop over there, join, join up with us, and then show us all what you've been doing. And that that's my favourite part when I see what people have been doing. So once again, thanks for joining me. I, I wasn't expecting this many people and I'm really overwhelmed by it. So uh, 
finish here, go to Craft Stash. <laughs> no, I'm not affiliated in any way with Craft Stash, although it sounds like I should be. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on Saturday when we will, I'll have done more of these and we'll be using up our little scrappy bits uh, in a meaningful way, hopefully. <laughs> see you then. Bye. Bye.